Are you ready to save some time when it comes to emailing people in Gmail? Well, if that's the case, you have made it to the right video. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I'm Mariah from MariahMagazine.com. And on this channel, I help simplify things like websites, tech, SEO, and I dive into tools and recommendations to help you grow your online business in a way that works for you. So in today's video, we're going to dive into an easy tutorial that walks you through how to enable free email templates in Gmail, also known as canned responses. But I promise this is super easy, so let's just get into it. Okay, so the first thing that you wanna do is log into your Gmail email account. I've tested this option for templates or AKA canned responses. I've tested this for the free Gmail options and the paid like Gmail for business, which is what I use. I've tested it on both. So regardless if you pay for Gmail or if you have a free account, you still should have this option. So basically what we're gonna do is click on this cute little gear icon up on the right hand side, settings, and then click like see all settings right there. And then you're gonna see this menu option up at the top. We're gonna to click on advanced. And then you should see a template option here. So this is like a pre-built in feature with Gmail, which I feel like a lot of people don't know about, okay? And it like saves a ton of time. So by default, the template settings is disabled. So all we have to do is click enable and then click save changes. Once you save it, then you can go ahead and click on this compose email to create a new email. And now to double check that that setting has been turned on, click the three little dots right here, more options, and you should see templates right here. So as you can see, I have like a ton of them here. You're not gonna have all of this, but we just wanna make sure that it's turned on. So in order to start saving emails as templates, you basically first have to write out an email and then we can save that specific email as a template. So I just went and wrote like a super basic example so you guys can see kind of like how to do all of this. But I have some tricks of the trade that I've learned as I've been using this. So basically, first off, the subject line that you write, that is going to be what the template name is. Okay, so if you just wanted to do like thank you in the subject line, you might end up having like a ton of templates listed here that are like thank you and then they're not very specific so you're not gonna know when to insert which one into an email. So my suggestion is to have a subject line that's a little bit more specific so that it stands out in your template list when you end up having like a bunch of them listed. Okay, so that's the first thing. The second thing is if you have an email signature set up with Gmail, when you save this email as a template, it's going to save the whole thing. So it's going to save your email signature within the template so that when you start composing a new email, if you add the template, now you're going to have that email signature that was in the template and your email signature. Okay, so before I save any email as a template, I just like to cut or like delete my email signature out of the email so the email just looks super plain like this. Okay, so those are two tips that I kind of found after playing around with this. So in order to save this email as a template, just click on the three little dots, hover over templates, and then you are going to scroll until you see save template as a draft and then save as a new template. So it's gonna, this is where it confuses you, enter a new template name which is AKA the subject line, okay? So just know that. So go ahead and save it. So now you've saved this email as a template in your email account. So we're gonna go ahead and test this. So click compose. Notice my email signature pops back up, which we like, and then click the three dots, templates, and then we're going to insert the template that I just created. So this is perfect, this is exactly what we want. But let's say that you maybe wanted to update this, maybe you wanted to add some content to it, or if you have, like me, I have been using this feature since I think 2019, and so I have to kind of redo and update some of these email templates so that they still make sense now for my clients when I'm sending them emails. So if you wanted to update an email, 
HTML template. I'm gonna show you how to do that too. So I just went in and kind of updated this text really quick. And so like, let's say this is the new updated version that I want for my template moving forward. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to cut or delete my email signature out of the email before I save the template and then click on the three dots, click templates, and then we don't want to click this here. We want to scroll down to saved draft as template. And then you're going to see this heading right here, overwrite template. So when you click on this, I want to override this template with the one that I just created. So I'm going to click on this one and then it's going to ask you, are you sure that you want to overwrite this saved template? Yes, absolutely I do. So I'm going to click save and then we're just going to test it really quick. So go ahead and compose. We are going to insert the template and bam, now it's the updated version of that template. So as you probably saw in here, the other option that you have is also to go in and to delete templates, which is probably something that I have to do because I have accumulated a whole lot uh, from using this for so many years. But that is basically, that's the spiel. That's it. That's how you use email templates in Gmail, also known as canned responses. So hopefully that saves you a little bit of time when you are emailing people like your clients, your colleagues, and other things like that. So hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. If you guys found this video helpful, give me a really quick thumbs up. Truly, the simple thumbs up does go a long way in letting the YouTube algorithm know that my YouTube video was helpful and and therefore pushing it out to new people that also might find it helpful. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more easy tutorials for Gmail or along the lines of email stuff, then definitely leave a comment below this video and let me know. I use your feedback and your questions as inspiration for new videos on this channel. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button, turn on bell notifications, and I will see you in the next video.